Hi folks, we're looking at my 2011 Volkswagen GTI. Uh, it's been cranking a little slow and uh, it's been really cold here in Michigan so I'm going to uh, check the battery here and most likely replace it uh, just as a preventive measure so I don't get stranded. Uh, battery is probably about five years old. This is a 2011. It was built sometime in 2010. Uh, who knows how long the battery sat on the shelf after it was produced before it was put in the car. So it's at least, uh, I would say, five years old. Five years is a pretty good life for a car battery in Michigan, unless it's the uh, AGM, the absorbed glass mat, like an Optima, uh, that may you may get a few more years out of. But uh, So we're probably going to end up replacing this here. Uh, to check it out, Volkswagen has made it real easy to get to. You just pull up on these tabs, and the battery cover comes right off. And so the uh, back it hooks into those two little tabs back there and just comes right off so that's what you got um, first we'll start with our uh, new south wire voltmeter we just put it on uh, you see that there there it's hard to see on voltage and then you can push the mode button to switch back and forth between AC and DC Car battery is going to be DC, so we've got it on uh, DC there. I've got the red lead on the positive, the black lead on the negative, and we are reading 12.2 volts. And I just uh, ran the car for quite a while, drove it around quite a bit, so the battery should be all charged up. Normally, a 12 volt battery would be like 12.6 volts, or maybe even a little bit more. The fact that this is only showing 12.2 tells me that this battery is going bad or it is not being charged properly. Uh, with a car like this with only 50,000 miles on it, I would say, uh, and no warning lights on the dashboard indicating that the alternator's not charging right or the voltage regulator isn't working right, I would say most likely the battery is the problem. Our south wire uh, does have the um, ability to test AC and DC current um, non-contact with this clamp so uh, we need to get to the positive wire down there which is buried behind uh, the uh, this cover here this cover is real easy to remove these two little tabs right here and here just push in if you and you got a little uh, spot you can hook your finger under here that they've made uh, probably for the wire to come out to go to the starter but it's nice to hook your finger under there and just kind of wiggle those two tabs out once they release this slides up has some little channels in the back there on each side it just slides right up and off real easy and you can have access to your uh, wires and uh, ease of replacing your battery so you've got access to your uh, positive wire here going into the computer this wire is going directly down to uh, provide juice for your starter motor so Normally you take your uh, amp meter here and set it on the lowest uh, setting, or, or sorry, you would, if, if you're unsure of the amperage, you go to the highest setting, which on this particular one is 400 amps. But since we know this is way less than 40 amps, we'll go down to the 40 amp setting. This makes it a little bit more accurate. Uh, and this is the DC voltage test. As you can see on the screen here, it says uh, DC there. and uh, right now it's reading the uh, relatively high. So if you push the relative button there, the R, you see that? On the, gosh, it's hard to see in this light. There it is. It says uh, REL. Gosh, terrible picture. REL, there it is. It takes it down close to zero. It's pretty uh, accurate. Then you clamp the meter over the wire, getting it close to centered and you will see that we are now drawing gosh less than a tenth of an amp so that's just what the computer uses while the car and you know, the security system and everything is drawing while the car is just sitting now I've opened the driver door which turns on the interior lights does something with the computers gets them going and uh, you can see we're drawing 3.7 amps now off the battery. Oh, and it just jumped. Something's going on. 
computer probably runs some stuff through a cycle with the uh, various fancy systems on these modern vehicles. Now I've turned the headlights on, which uh, in this car it only allows the parking lights to come on, but you can see that brings it up to uh, oh, eight and a half amps there uh, with just the parking lights on. After turning off the lights and closing the doors, uh, it's still drawing 3.8 amps with the interior light on. Uh, that is on about a one minute timer, so it's going to drop down. You can see it just dropped, and uh, I believe, yep, the interior light went off. So now it's going to sit there. And all right. There it goes, dropped down to our 0.3 amps, and after uh, a little while, it should drop down to about the point. Uh, you know, the tenth of an amp for in basically storage mode while it's sitting and waiting for you to come back and fire it up again. Okay, now after starting the car up, you can put the meter on and you see that it's charging about nine amps. So uh, that's actually a positive current. Uh, there's no negative sign to the left of the numbers, which means that's actually. Um, at nine amps or eight and a half amps they're charging the battery. Um, our previous numbers when the engine was off there's, there was a little minus on there if you notice that was showing draw from the battery. And with the engine idling um, got our leads back on there and we are showing uh, back in the voltage position there you can see and we've got DC voltage of 14.2 volts so that's what's coming out of the alternator on the car, and that's a uh, very good number. Another indication that our alternator and charging system is working well, and uh, the battery is a problem, bad battery. Make sure when you're working on all this to, it's very important to uh, keep your hands, anything, jackets, ponytails, cords, tools, away from any uh, fans. As you can see down there is the electric fan, which could turn on uh, at any moment, you never know. Um, and also the belt, which is over on the other side of this particular engine. Always be aware of the uh, turning belts and fans when you're working on uh, any vehicle. I note that after the run, in, uh, the engine's been running for a few minutes. We're down to about six amps uh, charge rate going into uh, the battery. Anyway. Okay, just for curiosity's sake, we're going to check and see how much amperage the starter is drawing. So I've got the uh, amp meter clamped around the uh, the big cable going from the positive to the starter and I've got it on 400 amp DC. Okay, go ahead. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this uh, helps you out. And look for our new video uh, coming soon on how to change the battery in the uh, Volkswagen GTI. Take care, folks.